from the production company behind two separate Denise Richards horse movies comes a high-octane, low-budget action caper that finally answers what if Tommy Wiseau loved Michael Bay movies instead of erotic dramas? I'm not. Oh, hi, Mark. Money Plane. Take to the skies aboard the Money Plane, a flying casino where you can gamble on anything death or animal related. Man versus Cobra. If you want to bet on a dude, f an alligator. Money Plane. Sure, you could place bets on those things from anywhere, but only on the Money Plane can you do it next to weird perverts. Rules were meant to be f then get served a bunch of airplane food. Then get shot in the head for cheating. In this feature-length mystery of whether the people who made this thing are actually serious. It's a film so alternatingly silly and boring, it's hard to know what's commentary on the limits of low-budget filmmaking and what naturally happens when the dude from Blossom is the most experienced guy on set. Stop. Stop looking into the camera, Joey Lawrence. This isn't Cats. You aren't Judy Dench. High Flying Wrestler Edge stars as Jack Reese, who gets to show off his gravity-defying moves, never, as they cram his massive bug-eyed ass into a tiny cockpit for the entire movie. Pack up the money, you cover your tracks, get the hell out of there. He's an expert thief who openly talks about his hijacking plans in front of the other passengers. I have to take control of the cockpit. Discovers mid-heist that airplanes have co-pilots. co-pilot and always has the look of a guy who's trying and failing to think of a comeback. How about I just blow your brains out? I'll create my own damn Pollock. Now go get me my money, Jack. Have a safe flight. He's tasked with taking down the money plane by feared gangster Darius Emanuel Grouch III, AKA the Rumble, played by Kelsey Grammer in a turn so maniacal, he's still crapping out little bits of scenery to this day. I don't give a fuck who's on that plane. I'm the baddest mother on the planet. Not since Tim Curry in Command and Conquer Riddler 3 has a character actor achieved such majestic heights over the course of maybe two hours of filming, including lunch. Your families are all dead. You, your crew, and everyone you ever met. Dead by the time you touch down. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. Joining Jack will be a crack team, including Isabella, an elite operative so intimidating, her opponents stand around in awe, allowing themselves to be slowly murdered. <laughs> Trey, who's there for no discernible reason. The third Lawrence brother, because the only way Andrew can get a bigger part than Matthew and Joey is by directing the movie himself and several of the most unnecessary lower thirds in movie history. Probably not great that I can't tell this by looking at the set. You can't even disclose it to us, the audience? Yes, this is where we've been the whole time. There are only two rooms on this plane separated by a shower curtain. We know where we are. So plunk down $3.99 or wait until it pops up on Crackle for the most straightforward heist in film history, where the high-tech vault can be opened by taking out a single man. The entire system is compromised by an idiot on the ground, and escaping is as simple as strapping on a parachute, but not actually skydiving because they blew their money on cinema's weakest wind machine. In a film so dumb and so lazy, you have to wonder what the pitch meeting was like. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called Money Plane. Oh, so it's a movie about a plane filled with money, or is the plane made of money? It's a money plane, metaphorically speaking, sir. Disappointing, but okay. See, the whole thing is that rich criminals ride on this thing so they can gamble. Why can't the criminals just gamble on the ground? Well, they could, but see, they want to do, like, illegal gambling about murder and stuff, so they gotta take to the skies. Oh, airborne criminals are tight. Yeah, they are. So this money plane has a whole bunch of rules that they have to follow. Criminals do love following rules. They sure do, sir. Also, crime just kind of feels better when it's over international waters. Well, yeah, everybody knows that. So anyway, this evil gangster named Darius Emanuel Grouch III, he decides he wants to rob the money plane. No further questions about that guy's name. Well, I have further information on it, sir. He goes by the Rumble. He tells people to call him the Rumble. He self-identifies as a Rumble. So who are we thinking here? Sam Jackson? Ving Rhames? I was thinking Kelsey Grammer. Oh, Frazier! The salad tosser himself, Kelsey 
can't wait to phone it in. He's not gonna try very hard. No, he'll take it to an 11. He'll just do most of his scenes via FaceTime video call. Saves us more money for the money plane. Exactly. So the Rumble forces this thief named Jack, who's in debt to him, to rob the money plane of all the cash and cryptocurrency on board. I thought the whole point of crypto was that it has no physical location. Well, this one does. It's on the money plane. Fair enough. And the only man good enough to take down the money plane is this guy, Jack. So the plan goes smoothly. No, it's a complete disaster and he's totally incompetent and nobody really knows what they're doing. Got it. So this movie's about a heist plan that goes wrong. A bit. A bit? Yeah, just a little bit of the movie's about this heist. Well, it's gonna be hard to make a heist movie where we don't spend time on the heist. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, we're just gonna kinda hang out on the money plane. Not heisting. Just kinda vibing. Just straight vibing. Yeah, for pretty much the entire second act. Oh, that kinda seems like a long time. Well, this is when we get to see all the crazy bets happening over international waters on the money plane. Okay, gotcha. So we're gonna have some fun with the crazy bets? A lot of fun. Because it's the money plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why the criminals have gotten on the money plane instead of going to Vegas where there are nice hotels and restaurants and concerts and stuff. Yeah, they go on the money plane instead of to the city that's all about gambling and definitely has weird underground places for this kind of stuff. So what are some of these bets anyway? Oh, well, there's one where a guy gets his arm cut off. Okay. So. What? What's the bet? Is a guy gonna cut another guy's arm off, I guess. How's... How do you bet on that? They also have one bet about a guy having sex with an alligator. What? What aspect of that are they betting on? Oh, unclear, but it's worth talking about in this movie for sure. Well, let me ask you something. How'd you get into my office? Money plane. Starring. I'm thieving on a bet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Hello, Seattle. I'm threatening. P.I. Jane, the Real Housewives of Money Plane, the Fight Attendant, Air Dud, Ivan the Terrible, Actor, and the Brothers Dim. Stakes on a Plane. Texas Hold'em is about to begin in the main casino floor. Poker? Whew, thank goodness we're over international waters, so we can play this exotic and illegal game that's regularly televised on GSN. God damn it! Thanks for making me feel alive. Thank you for joining us, Pitch Meeting Guy. If you liked what you saw, check out Screen Rant for more. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. And then he did a backflip, snapped the bad guy's neck, and saved the day. Being honest about movies is tight. I get my epic voice from my mother.